You're watching the Axe and IBC series at the Somos Metro Classic. The tri-state area on display today, Union, New Jersey, and Division III Kane University. Busy day ahead. We start with number 11, Long Island Lutheran. Making the trip across the Hudson, facing Bishop Walsh from Cumberland, Maryland. Number 11 in the nation, according to the Sports Center next. Top 25, they're five and two in the NIBC. And He's in the NIBC. You see the starting five for Luhai. Andy Njai had the block last time down. And Luhai comes away with it again. Reed lays it in. By a lot of ball security, but I really can't speak enough about how much Bishop Walsh has to make sure they get good shots like they did in the cool categories offensively and defensively. And when you have a team that has that sort of balance, normally they're going to do well in any conference. And the Enjai, the leaner, and the foul. Enj Buck also said that Iona and Rick Pitino are very interested. <laughs> Wouldn't Rick Pitino love to have Enjai? Part of this game, it really speaks to what Coach Preet talked to us about, is the fact that they've had moments in, in all games where they have these offensive droughts, and, and you can't have that when you're playing against top-level talent. You have to have someone on your team, and normally that's Mike Williams III, that can manufacture buckets at a, any moment's notice. Israel Bosanga with the second basket of the game for Bishop Walsh and Jaden Ross at the other end. Splat. The Luhai, they have three players in the top nine in the NIBC in steals, so you have to be careful when you make those passes. Uh, some ghost screens uh, and movement by multiple players, and that really puts the defense of Bishop Walsh on point, making them adjust throughout the game. It's a lot, but you have to have a focus on that if you're Bishop Walsh defensively. Nice. Three, three ball. Underneath, and John. Fake to get the defender off the floor, and then buckets. That's what you're going to need to see more of for Bishop Walsh in this. Defensively, it just makes their job so much easier. And, and you see a team offensively that's unselfish, and that translates to the defensive side. He's on that track now in the ESPN 60. Jaden Ross, four-star senior, going to UConn. Edgecombe, the offensive rebound, and the... Get back in transition, and that's one of the reasons why Luhai has been so effective, is because they're going against him. But again, his athleticism and his ability on both ends of the court to make an imprint are something special. Kennedy, the freshman, couldn't flip it in. Loose ball, picked up by Mike Williams the third, And the shovel to Okatondo. He hammers it with a foul. Will not see from Bishop Walsh is any give up in, in any game. And I think you've seen that in this first half. And it's called the drop off. Enjai pounds it through the contact. Far outweigh that for the development of the players. Tend to shoot here. Mikel Tyne for three. Yes. Bishop Walsh trying to cut into it. Edgecomb guarding Mike Williams the third. Now it's Mingo on the switch. Williams delivering to Okatondo for the slam. Getting positive second chance scoring opportunities. Luhai is led by as many as 19. The lead is 11 now. Jaden Reed, the drop off. He's only a ninth grader, and so, yeah, Dan Preet and his resume speaks volumes to the addition of Bishop Wall's body of work as a high school player. It speaks for himself, and I do believe he Tation, even as a freshman, said, yeah, we've got a spot for him. Yeah, yeah, and, and it just, just so happens. Three ball off target, another rebound for Lou High ahead to Jaden Reed, who lays it in. Picked up by Okatondo. Corner three is offline. And Lou High can run again. Reed up top. Jaden Ross to the skies. Reed got a steal. Ten seconds left in the quarter. And Reed is fouled. Foul, and in those situations, you don't want to stop the clock. And a swish by Williams at the buzzer. It's percent. 12 turnovers today. Down the baseline. Defensive players on the perimeters to gamble a little bit more. 
Mike Williams with the steal for Bishop Walsh. And denied by Enchai again. In transition, Edgecombe off the glass. Fast break opportunities, and, and that's where Luhai is so dangerous once you get them out in open court. Williams trying to take Ross off the dribble. And Ross stayed in front. Williams lost it. Edgecombe lines it up. Give it! Make per game. That's 25th in the NIBC, but today with three out of four makes and really having that feel from distance today against Bishop Walsh. Again, Enchai the outlet. How about the ball movement? Uh-oh. Edgecombe! Level of maturity that you don't usually see in the high school ranks. El Catondo, he's got 13 to lead Bishop Walsh as we close in on the final minute from New Jersey. First of three games today on the ESPN networks at the Metro Classic. And back Kate to Mingo. We will see nine ESPN ranked players in that game and both of Montverde's McDonald's All-Americans, Kwame Evans and Sean Stewart. Nice pass, Long Island Lutheran blows away Bishop Walsh for the second time this season. Lou High now six and two in the NIBC.